gave birth to my son, August 2nd, 1984. And, uh, and it was a beautiful birth, a full nine months, a uh, beautiful little boy. I, my spirit went to hell and it just left my body. And it was like a wet rag, just flying through darkness and hitting a rock stone floor. I landed so hard, it's hot, it's so hot, you can't even breathe. And like, I was an atheist, so I had no idea, uh, you know, about the spiritual world, okay? Demons lined up, seven to eight demons lined up on my on my left side. You're never gonna get out of here. You know where you know where you're at. You're never gonna get out of here. These demons cursed me with everything I had ever done in my life, as in, in every sin. And the last demon said to me, she even had a baby to make herself feel better. The last demon once said to me, walk. I mean, he said it in a demonic monster tongue walk and I couldn't because I was on the floor. It's like you're commanded to do something and you can't even do it and you feel it. You really feel it. If you don't have Jesus to bear your sin, you're going to bear it down in hell. Hey, it's Patricia Ann Landon Regali, chief little flower coming at you from The exploitation of being a targeted individual by a den of Nosferatu doing the dirty work of these little Hitlers. They're all little fucking Hitlers in Auschwitz 2.0. Everybody pretending. To be nice to your face while backstabbing you behind your back by getting psyop assignments from a pedophile, murderous coach in the organized RICO hate crime organized syndicate that fosters gang stalking, human trafficking sexual exploitation, and Truman showing people somewhere concurrently on the Wild Web and the World Wide Web. At the time of this recording, it is September 17th, 2024, and it is Tuesday. So, how's it going for everybody? I'm all like, to all the gang stalkers. You know, while this earth plane may be difficult, why do you make it worse for other people? Just so you can have the extra blood coin slough off the blood because you all are evil. Evil. You take advantage of people's kindness just so you can exploit them for fancy things. What are you going to buy with those extra blood coin? Nice technology. Fake house plants to hide the decrepacy behind your real motives. Well, you might as well get a real good dose of whatever it is you're looking for. Because, honeys, trust me, you don't want to do that. You deserve so much better for yourselves. Because you got a one-way ticket with the prison cell with your name on it. Already in the pits of the lowest vibratory frequency and demonic existence throughout the dominion of the galaxy and cosmos. You deserve better than that. If you realize you're evil, why do you stay there? I mean, okay, you may be there today, but you don't have to stay there. You can tell the truth, own up to everything you did, to flip the switch in your own life, to salvage your own soul from hell. It doesn't have to stay that way. There's a place specifically for gossipers. There's a place specifically for 
witches and all of you serving demonic entities they hate humans they have nothing but evil intentions upon all humans so if you happen to think that you're going to be buddy buddy with satan honey he laughs at you he mocks you there's nothing ever any good that can come from anything satanic in origin and uh, for those you know that are one foot in the belief and one foot in the when it comes to Jesus Christ when it's your time to pass you know just keep them in your heart because if you call out for all the other gods and deities and you may be on a descent to hell just call out for Jesus just at least keep them in your back pocket you know because uh, it may be it may be helpful you know uh, uh, that's all I'm saying but I do have to say that there are a lot of lukewarm Christians out there and while I was out in the um, in the uh, trenches the tar being targeted horrifically um, <clears throat> one thing man you gang stalkers are really fucked everything up not only for others but for yourselves I'm like there was a day that if you ever needed a jump from somebody they would be like boom I got you but you gang stalkers will deny a targeted individual a jump for, you know when I say jump whenever uh you your battery needs a jump in your vehicle you know I'd be like this with the um, with the uh, jumper cables, can I have a jump? Can I have a jump? And it was no, 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 no. You're a target, and I'm not going to help you. You're a target, and I'm not going to help you. You're a target, and I'm not going to help you. Man, I would have had my GoPro to document that, but you know, just surviving the targeting and the gang stalking took enough energy out of me. Otherwise, I would have done it. I was out, you know, uh, out and about. I would have enjoyed my flow equipment if I had the energy about me but it took all of my energy to survive with grace to survive with grace under fire and to survive you know with dignity and to um, keep my calm and keep my cool and still find the forgiveness in my heart and the such so just because I have you know roof and the cot I know somebody out there is profiting by this wonderful isolation of sorts because until targeted individuals are acknowledged and the targeting happens, um, uh, and the targeting that has happened has been acknowledged and gang stalking has been abolished, there's no proof that I go out and get a job, I will not be work mobbed. That I won't have you psychotic gang stalkers trying to antagonize me with the throwing of the rocks and the hiding of the hands. So it is my diligent duty to get up here on YouTube and talk about it until the day has come that abolishment has happened. Yeah, it's the same song because it's the same song that keeps happening over and over and over and over again. Oh, okay. You're going to, uh, it's exploitation of uh, kindness. Like, for instance, say that you're going to do uh, house chores. Well, they're going to put a little, little remnant under, say, like the carpet in the same goddamn place. Repeated patterns. All right. Y'all want to gang stalk me. With your psychotic triggers in the atmosphere. Or put two little leaves behind the flower plant. That don't match it with being artificial and everything. Just to let you know that we're targeting your ass. We're targeting your ass. We're targeting your ass. But really nice to your face, you know. But meanwhile, behind your back being evil. I love you guys. I wish you would stop for you. Because you're teaching the young how to be psychotic by throwing away the morality and ethics for some blood coin. You taught them how to live a lifestyle fit for hell. 
What's the matter with you? I can see you killed the spirit inside of this one. Where before, I could see the conflict of being that Jiminy Cricket being bothered, being triggered. But now, say 10 months later, you killed that. Your psychotic Nazi regime. Y'all don't even know it's fucking Nazi. I'm telling you guys. And how many gang stalkers have actually looked it up? How many gang stalkers realize they're nothing more than tools of the Nazi regime recycled? And now you guys are all fucking Nazis by indoctrination of becoming Team Judas, playing your stupid little psychotic triggers in the atmosphere. This, it, that has the bottom line is to kill, steal, destroy, disrupt, dismantle, destabilize. You guys think it's funny to mock what the target is going through? Oh, as far as the privacy trigger statement. Well, bitch, I'm going to tell you something. You got a target that you're running Truman on. You're exploiting the uh, miners in the house. Because when they think nobody's paying attention to them and they undress, disrobe in their room, my room is not the only fucking fire alarm that's got the goddamn little cameras in it. I'm willing to bet every room in this house has got one. Not just mine. So whenever the young have their sexual practices, when they think nobody's looking, you shadow people are busy, ped busy peddling that bullshit, making money off everybody. So to the adults... You're responsible for that. You need to be protecting your minors from all of that. Not participating in all of the gang stalking, charades, demonic practices. You all are responsible for that. So, here I am, a targeted individual. Instead of Banding together to target me. Like for instance. I uh, would uh, rinse my mouth out with uh, salt water. And the. The uh, targeting will include. Uh, hijacking your phone. And so whenever you're like on YouTube. The comments that come up will be directed towards you. That's one thing that they do. So they let me know that I rinse out my mouth with so with uh with salt water. And that's when I realized that camera is not just a probability, it's a fact. There's no way that you're gonna have honest gang stalkers and just put one camera upstairs and one downstairs. Bitch, you have them all in the fucking house in every Targeted individual house. So all of you gang stalkers, if you actually have any ethical uh, heart for your own child, and you're not out there endorsing the pedal, uh, peddling child pornography, you're sadly mistaken if you think that that's not happening to your own kid. That is how you're sexually trafficked on a Truman Show. And all you parents out there that are targeting anybody in your own household, you're evil. And you're going to hell, honey. Stop what you're doing. Hit reset. Tell the truth as prescribed in other videos. And reprogram your family from all of that immorality, all of that non-ethical practices. And if you don't, well, you know, you are encouraged to because it's never too late.
Unless, of course, you can't, you don't have presence of mind no more. Can't speak or do anything. That you're really fucked. Because telling the truth has a walk of its own. Which is videotaping your confessions and observations, uploading them to multiple platforms of the internet, committed to paper, dear diary, this is what I've done, this is what I know, this is who I attacked, this is who I was involved with, the dates and times and expected outcomes, take that letter, have it notarized, they're supposed, the notary public is supposed to make sure that you wrote that, that's your birthday, this is your um, signature, they don't have to confirm or deny the body or the content. They just have to know that you created that. Boom, notarized. Then send it to the appropriate authorities. You're going to want to do that registered mail. And take that tracking number of the registered mail and put it on the body of the letter. So you can make a copy of the body of the letter. And for each person, you can handwrite the tracking number for who you that was sent to. And then... Go visit the person and uh, leave a copy of the notarized statement there. And keep some for yourself and follow up that way. And then make your police department accountable by using that same method. That is how you tell the truth. So you're going to want to do that while you have command of your faculties, command of your thoughts, command of your hands, your arms. You never know if you get a traumatic brain injury or a sudden onset of a cerebrovascular accident, such as a stroke, or, or suffer a noxic brain injury secondary to cardiac arrest and the such. That's why you think you have time. You don't. All of you gang stalkers have, are evil. You all are little Hitlers. And you all have a satanic cell in the pits of hell don't want to believe in hell fine call it the lowest demonic vibratory frequency throughout the dominium of cosmos and the universe so you might want to fix that and if you don't well you were encouraged to because you all are so much more worth than what you have been treating yourself so y'all do what you want but as far as the justice of peace goes, y'all are okay. Nobody's come to restore my inheritance to me yet. And nobody has come to bridge the ambiguity of my case with some solid facts yet. So, what's up with that? I mean, let's put it this way. You're not going to be able to skirt how I have been a cover-up this whole time. And whenever all of that comes to light, secondary by being strong-armed into it by the Most High and otherwise, everybody connected to my case, you all have egg all over your careers. So, in other words, you may not have a career after everything comes to light, so why don't you come forward and tell the truth already? Why don't you be that superhero? For all of the collective collaborative components of the universe that have been working on my behalf, thank you. But they're still targeting me and they're still gaslighting me with their stupid triggers in the atmosphere. They're still going to get their goddamn clown coaching from their demonic pedophiles. What's up with that? Only God knows. Until then, it's been Patricia and Landon Regali, Chief Little Flower. I'm one of many targeted individuals, but I'm not going to shut up until there is an abolishment date for the gang stalking. So, it is what it is, folks. But until then, love is the answer. Uh, the information we want is in the love vibratory frequency. So hopefully we all can get there and stay there. Until then, I love you all. Namaste.